Hello, hello, hello. It's Tutorial Tuesday, you guys. It's Tutorial Tuesday. Um, I am popping on here just to let you know, um, to show you how I am going to prep for uh, today's tutorial, which is at 5 p.m. Central. Um, so I will wait to see if anybody wants to jump on here on this Valentine's Day. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'm having one in the sense that I'm not really going anywhere tonight, but that's okay. Hi, Missa. Hello. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? I'm doing this. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. No, um, Delight and I, we capped out on our, um, we have a budget for going out and we capped out on that last weekend. We kind of went for it. And so nothing, <laughs> nothing for Valentine's Day here. Yep, me too, nothing. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just coming on here to show you how I am prepping for tonight's tutorial. So if you um, haven't seen the photo, it is a sweatshirt. And I think, was it Missa, you who, who was inspired by this sweatshirt? So I was really, a long time ago, I saved this in my feed. I saw it on, I don't know, maybe Pinterest or Instagram. I have no idea. Um, and I loved the way that heart looked. So that is going to be the inspiration for tonight's tutorial. It won't look like that because you, it's just impossible to get it to look exactly like that, right? Um, but I love it. And so we're going to get the effect. Okay. It's a very thick, very textured effect. So I'm going to tell you several ways that you can add texture to your paint. Um, I'm just going to do it by having thick paint on there. So, um, what I'm going to have available to me tonight is, of course, white paint. I have chalk paint. Um, you can have any kind of paint. I'm going to be using a lot of chalk paint because it drives, dries fast tonight. Um, I have all the reds, the pinks, and then when I look at that, I see orange and yellow and white. And, of course, we can mix all those colors together and, and just play with it and get what you want. And then I see highlights in, like, turquoise blues and a little maybe a little cobalt, cobalt or green or even purple, but that's just because it's mixing with the red, okay? So, um, and I'm going to be mostly be using these tools. So we'll mostly be using, you know, scraping tools, like little paint palette knives and all that, or something like that to just kind of scrape the paint on. But the key is to, is blah, blah, the key is going to be to add the texture. Okay, and so you can do that by taking your paint and adding a texture medium that you can buy at the store. You can add cornstarch, you can add um, a molding compound, you can add sand to it, you can add anything. You can add salt, but the salt eventually dissolves if your paint is really wet. Um, if you have salt wash, you can add salt wash. Cornstarch, what else did I say? I'm sure you can add flour. I don't know, but it'll probably cake off. Um, but anything, but I'm not going to add anything. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do it. Okay. So I'll just put the camera down. Um, you know, this isn't the official. We're coming on tonight at 5 p.m. in the Facebook and Patreon group. So I'm just going to take, this is Dixie Bell paint and it's very thin as far as chalk paint is concerned. Um, it's probably one of the thinnest, which is why almost I don't use it very often, but you see how that went on there like that. I'm going to just get a bunch on. I should have, sh I should have shook it, but I didn't. And we have two hours until the tutorial. So I'm going to get a bunch of this on here. See, it's just like, I'm just going to be really liberal with it. A bunch, like thick, 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 thick. I have two, two whole hours to let this dry. And I also have a hair dryer if I need to utilize that. So I'm just going to cover the whole thing. 
like this. And then once I'm done, once I'm done um, doing this, if you guys just popped on from the groove, I'll show you again what I'm going to use. Okay. Okay. And just when you think you have enough, add more. Okay. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, um, I'm going to let it dry for about 20 minutes. Right. And then I'm going to come back in with a smaller one of these or with one of my putty knives or whatever, whatever you have. And I'm going to, I'm going to just kind of go like this and just give it a lot of texture. I might add, I might press it with a paper towel to give it sandy texture. Um, let's get that paint off there and then I'll bring it up. So, but that's it. So I'm going to let that dry for about 20 minutes. It's gonna get nice and thick, right? And then I'm gonna mold it and play with it and scrape it around till I have the texture I want. Um, and it just doesn't matter. It can be any texture. It's just important that this is gonna have texture for our scraping the colors over it, okay? So that's that. And let me show you the paint. So also, it's going to be great if your paint is thick and so right now if you're getting ready to do the tutorial or what have you just um, get some containers out i've got my peggy gross containers and i'm going to take some colors okay and i'm going to take some chalk paint colors and some acrylic colors i don't care for this i'm going to mix them but i've got this nice neon daydream um, orange and I'm just going to put like that much in there. That looks like it's yellow, but it's bright orange. Weird. That looks so yellow. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put some yellow, yellow in there. I'm going to put some pink in there. I'm going to get this less, uh, um, less fluorescent pink in there, but I'm going to just set out a whole bunch of these with my colors in them. And I'm going to just let them dry for two hours. So they're nice and thick. Okay. Okay, you guys. So super, super excited for tonight. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, for those of you who are not going out with their sweeties, come and join me. Um, and I'll see y'all soon. Okay. That's it. Mwah. Bye.